Welcome back to Darkwood. It's close to time to head to the radio tower and go underground there, into the underground entrance. But before that, I want to make sure everything here is wrapped up, so I need to head back to the village, explore it more thoroughly, open up the rubble now that I actually have a shovel to dig with, and talk to the old man again. So I'll meet you back at the village. Here we go, we're back at the old man. Also, I just remembered they wanted me to find wheels for their, uh, their wheelchair, right? I never found those. Alright, let's see. Ah, I can show them new items. Photo of three boys. Upon seeing the photo, they cringe with disgust. These ruffians, eh? Sons of a thief. There were seven of them. The mother took the four youngest ones when the hunger struck. The other three stayed with the father. They were weak and sickly. That explains quite a few things, huh? Okay, so it sounds like the father was a thief, which is why a thief is scratched into the ground in that one building. Maybe that was where the father lived. So the mother is the elephant or elephants in the woods with the oxygen masks. With four kids, right? Three of them. Two, two was with them. I saved Marcinek, the third one, from Grandma, uh, Granny Mushroom. And then the fourth one, I guess, died. And that's the one that was in the tank, like in the shed with the oxygen and all that. So that's the four. The other three stayed with the father, so that must be the three. I come by and trade stuff. Huh. Interesting. That's such a cool little detail. I wonder where the father is. One day the father got into his head that they're getting smaller rations because we've written them off. His hands start to tremble. So we went with a group of people to rob us of our food in the night. They broke into the basement. It didn't end well. <laughs> they go silent. The lads threw them out of the village. I don't know what happened to them after that. People used to say they wander the woods with the savages, looking for their place. He gives me back the photo. I can still hear the cries of that thief all the bloody time. Okay. Uh, first order of business, let's dig up that spot with the shovel. Right here, right? Yeah. God, I wish it wasn't raining. Ah, there we go. <laughs> some flares. Oh, whoa. Uh, that's one of the ones that burst, right? I think. Uh, pretty sure. I still wanted to check anyway. <laughs> I guess I was far enough away. Ah, oh, it's so disgusting. Oh god, that's another one. And that one I was too close to. Crap. I still hear weird noises. Hmm. Well, I'm poisoned for a long time, huh? I'm gonna have to heal after that. Let's go up this way. Go! Oh. Damn it! Chameleon! Damn it! Ok, 
Come on. I think a shotgun's better for this. Oh, we didn't quite die. Although it might have bled to death? No. There we go. Oh. Homemade shotgun. Yeah, there's a lot here I didn't explore. And there might be even more aside from this place that I opened up. So this is the other side of this impassable tree here. More writing. Thief? Thieves. Ooh, what's that? Location found. Burned cottage. Burned... Whoa. It's off the map. Huh. It's definitely a place I want to check out, which reminds me, I never really found the cottage near the junkyard, or at least I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay, I think, I think that's it. I just looped around. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Okay, so let's go closer to the tree and around the basement area. So I already went completely down there. I just It's just this way that I haven't really been much. All I did was go to the right a bit and then go down. Let's go to the right and then up. And let's go close to the tree. Whoa. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god, just look at the art over there. Looks like there's a hundred or a thousand humanoid shapes in it moving. And even non-humanoid shapes too, that looks like a... I'm not sure, a pig, a horse, a boar, could be anything. The, the tree is gigantic. Its bark says, uh, stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself, as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Between the boughs, I can catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon. Uh, above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Pointing to something on the horizon, above the roofs of the destroyed village. What would be on the horizon? I mean, we think the radio tower would be visible in the past, but not now. It's fallen down. There's nothing to see there. There was supposed to be a lookout point somewhere around here, right? That the military was looking at the tree from the lookout point? Keeping tabs on everything? Could they be pointing to that? New journal entry, The Talking Tree. Kick the tree, hoping that the voices will go silent. Um, no. Try to climb the tree? Fuck no. 
I don't want to be absorbed into it. Look at the lips of the person talking to me or leave. You know, it's interesting. Remember the people when I first went into door 21 and I came to this zone? Remember the people in the wall saying that they had... Like, the people kind of absorbed in the wall saying that they had tried to let the tree... Like, they tried to convince the tree to let them pass? And they weren't able to, and then they all were shot in the head with a bullet? And that's what killed them? I mean, this tree can't shoot anybody, right? So... Perhaps it's that lookout point that they're pointing to? Maybe they're warning me. Maybe they're pointing to the horizon to warn me that there's somebody looking a sniper. Do you think? But there's no way they're there anymore, right? That must have been from years ago. The military isn't even here anymore. Uh, let's look at the lips of the person talking to me. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read its lips properly. I think one of the words is radio. Oh. Yeah, the radio tower. <laughs> it's too high for me to read its lips properly. Do I really try to climb the tree to get closer to its lips? Oh my god, I'm terrified. Ugh. Um, I mean, I, I, I know where it's pointing me, right? But I am curious. Uh, let's try to climb the tree. The bark is slimy and soft. It creases... Its creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the arms that protrude from the root tugging at my clothes. I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely break free from their grasp. Climbing up is out of the question. Look at the lips again. Same thing, right? Radio? Yeah. Okay. So how do you get to the basement? The old man wanted me to get into the basement and rip out the roots. Oh, what's this? Examine. I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. I'm just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. The lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. I am barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree boughs. You took everything from us. The shouts come from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves. May the dogs piss on your faces. Talking about the thieves that stole their food. Christ, it's like they all died from the, the famine that resulted, I guess, and then were absorbed into this monstrosity, and now they're just stuck, I guess. Restless souls with unfinished business sort of thing. Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats, We were hungry. We were hungry. Another figure, hiding its face under an enormous root, lets out a chilling shriek. Quiet! Fucking quiet! Leave us in peace! Shut up! He is interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good! It was meant for all of us! You stole it! High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs grown into the trunk are trying to bite each other's faces off. Jesus Christ. This thing is horrifying. So all this is just the same talking tree? Yep. Okay. Sickle. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's another basement. <gasps> well, hello. It's interesting. I guess I went the wrong way before. 
Uh, this is going to be interesting. I did bring the oxygen tank with me, by the way, just in case I need it. And an extra lantern. Ooh, I see one of those red things down here. Seems very gassy and cloudy. And time is not passing, thankfully, so I can take my time. A hole in the wall of the basement. It must have been made by the growing roots. Why is that in there? Just in a little room. What are they? Oh, that leads to the room. Hmm. Whoa. Who's there? Let's go this way for a second. Thing is, though, if I go in there, it's going to hurt me. I could still go in there for like a second, though. Is there anything in there? Oof. Is it only if I look at it that it hurts? Oh. Oh! I didn't realize that. I can actually go near those, I just can't look at them. Small caliber magazine. Uh, dump the meat. I don't need most of the stuff, to be honest. Okay, if you get super, super close to it, it hurts you anyway. Ah. Oh. The relief just not to be next to that ringing. Before I go deeper into here, because a voice called to me, let's toss a flare. Ooh, I think I see an underwater passage. It's a good thing I brought an oxygen tank. I think it's the roots talking to me. Yeah, it's the walls talking to me. And there is an underwater passage. My feet are slowly sinking in the soft, quaggy floor. I can barely move as if someone was holding me by the ankles. Ugh. This whole underground place is alive with the roots. Let's check the journal. The Talking Tree, Day 40. I encountered a talking tree. Its monstrous roots block my way back. I saw human figures grown into its bark and branches. One of them tried to tell me something, but the words drowned in the other voices. I found the cellar under the tree. Unfortunately, it's completely flooded. I won't be able to progress any further, and it looks like the flooded corridor is the only way out. Whoa. What's this? Isn't that the you're about to have a vision thing? I'm scared. Definitely a vision. Nothing on me. Wait, is this? No, it is a vision. Just for a second I thought, this might be actually where that leads. This is like a watery basement. But all my stuff is gone, so obviously it's a vision. Giant barrel. A huge rusty barrel. Judging by the smell, it still contains a lot of good gasoline inside. Chest after chest after chest.
This wouldn't happen to be the basement where the people, the thieves, stole all the food, would it? Does it just keep looping? Wait, it's getting drier and drier. Oh, shit. Is that a cow? It stopped. There's no way, like, I'm the father of the three, right? I'm pretty sure the, the thief was killed. I know, I know there's more than one thief, but I made it sound like the father was killed. Because as far in the future, the cow's completely rotted. Axe, pick up! Oh, okay, okay. This is going to be another one of those things where I get attacked, right? This time, I'm not going to lose. Come on. Still contains a lot of good gasoline. Where does this go? Nowhere. Keeps getting longer and longer. What am I digging my way out? The banging also gets louder and louder. Makeshift barricade blocking the entrance to the basement. Someone or something is trying to break through from the other side. Open now. Are those roots? Moving roots. Oh god. Are these gonna pop? No, I seem to be okay. Christ, I'm just walking on people now. Oh. Does it ever end? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> not a shrinking tunnel. Oh god.
Oh. Suffocated by a red mist. Oh, this is the basement now. Yeah, look. These are all those chests. And there's the backpack with the torch. And there's the skeleton of the cow. Still have gasoline. The barrel's valve is rusty, but it seems to be working. Judging by the smell, there's gasoline inside. Oh, this is gonna be to burn the roots of the tree, isn't it? I'm not gonna do that yet, but that's probably what it's for. And... This one looks different. It's carved out by people, sloppily and hastily. It's a miracle, it still hasn't collapsed yet. In the vision, or whatever that was, this was the way that got me suffocated by red mist, and it also happens to be, probably not by a coincidence, the way to the heart of the tree, it looks like. Oh, I can't fit through. The further part of the tunnel is blocked by rubble. Looking through a crack, I can see a giant pulsating... I can see giant pulsating roots. Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. See what's down this way, huh? Whoa. A dead end, carved out by the roots. Makeshift barricade blocking the entrance to the basement. So, it said this tunnel here looks like it was man-made. Hastily dug out. It's a miracle it hasn't collapsed. Who dug it? Like, did I dig that while I was having my vision or something? Or did someone else do it? And if so, who? Someone that wanted to kill it. I mean, could be the old man, but I think they would have mentioned it. Alright, well, I think we know what we have to do, huh? Open the valve. I grab the valve and try to turn it with all my strength. It suddenly breaks. Gasoline starts to leak out of the barrel. It slowly flows down the tunnel. The whole tunnel is flooded with gasoline. I must be careful. Oh. It's a shovel on the ground. Didn't even notice that. Oh, that makes two shovels. I don't think there's anything to dig, though, right? That must have been used by the person who opened this up. Just want to double check and make sure there's nothing to dig. Like, I can't dig any of these tunnels further. I'm not getting any prompts. Oh. 
crates. A pile of empty, rotten wooden crates overgrown with small roots. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Um, well, I've got the torch. Guess I'll try the torch, huh? Can I, like... Oh! Whoops. I was a little bit too close, but yeah, that worked. Starting to hear wailing. I'm not sure if my exit out of here is going to be very pleasant. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's go. Says the huge tree will not yield to the flames so easily. It tries to smother the flames with its roots. I'll have to wait till tomorrow for it to be burned down. And then... Jesus Christ, the wailing! Uh, I'll I'll read my journal later. Christ! Oh my God! Literally like a hundred screaming souls. Let's see if they... Come here now, come. Their blind eyes stare hypnotized at the huge flame consuming the tree. It's as if the old man could see everything clearly now. The orange fire illuminates his pale, motionless face. Okay. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, let's get away from that screaming, huh? Jesus Christ. Can still hear it from here a little bit. Oh, it's gone. Thank God. Alright. I'm really curious about this burned village up here. Is there an entrance I could find if I look really closely? I'm gonna I've got a bit quite a bit of time actually before nighttime. So let's check. Have I found that place? I think that's this ruin, right? Yeah, so I'm right here. Ooh, wait, what's this? Nothing marked on the map yet. Whoa. Hello. Can I take these, like, wheels? No. <laughs> I'm thinking, maybe you take these wheels, give them to the, the whole person. Uh, I don't think these are the sorts of wheels that would really work on a wheelchair, huh? Mushrooms. Still nothing marked on the map. Still nothing. Hmm. Feels like right where it would be, huh? Because I was here, I went up... Well, I guess I'm more like here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hello! 
another underwater corridor. How many places did that open up? Maybe where I found that fish, was there an underwater corridor there at that puddle of water that maybe would lead to this cottage? I didn't see one, but that seems very, very plausible. So that means like everything off the map may be accessed by going underwater. Obviously the radio tower wasn't, but this place seems to be, the wreckage was, so very, very possible the cottage near the junkyard may be. Also, I still need to check out the Great Lake, although I'm pretty sure it's just a black void of nothingness, but still. Maybe. Maybe there's something. Wait, I don't... Oh, did I use some of my oxygen? No. It's filled with oxygen. That was strange. Time is still passing. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, this place is very wrong. Old simple wooden cross covered in inscriptions. I can still decipher one of them. May you never know hunger again. This would be the thieves. May you never know hunger again. Same. What was this place called? The Burned Village or something? Oh my god. Some skeletons have been pushed out by the water and are now lying in the mud. Didn't stay in their graves, I guess, since they're underwater. This place just feels so cursed. Whoa. Building. Cottage has been burned to the ground. Well, it's a wooden door, so I can bust that down easily or lockpick it. Some general supplies. I don't need the gas. Could use the battery for when I want my to take my military flashlight. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, fuck me. What was that? What was that? Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. One sec. Photo. People traveling on a road. Backpacks. Obviously enough for the long haul. Is that them being forced to leave the village? The thieves, maybe? Or... Hmm. I doubt it. I don't know. What the fuck was that noise? Well, I see something. I saw something move. What is that? Was that it? If so, that's not too bad. Oh! Oh no, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more.
Whoa. Key from the burned cottage? Oh, there was three of them! Was that the three buried ones? Turned into these human spiders? Is that... <laughs> what is it to this door? Yep. Doesn't go anywhere, does it? Nope. Just there for story reasons, I guess. So this door is open now, so one of them, at least one of them, came out of there. Hmm. It's a messed up photo, but um, I see a village on fire. Probably here, this is called the burned up village or whatever, right? And I see helicopters. Were the helicopters maybe dropping? Fire onto the place? Burning it up? Firebombing it to try to cure the disease, I guess, or not cure it, but you know, contain it. Maybe it's one of those firebombing helicopters that crashed, that made that wreckage over here. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I need an oxygen- you have an oxygen tank. <laughs> oh, it's the examine, right? First interaction is examine, second is use. Okay. 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 Cool. Oh, hey! I never got deeper into the sawmill. There was a lot more to that place, but I needed a key and there was a metal door. Hmm. I'm definitely not ready to go to the radio tower yet. Although I get the feeling that sometimes you just can't do some things. Like, if you think of all the things I left undone in the last major zone. The wedding and there's some other stuff that I forgot off the top of my head. Like, could I really complete all of that? Or is it just the case that sometimes you can and they're there just kind of for the mystery? And maybe in like a different playthrough you could? Because I know there's randomization to what locations appear. But maybe you just can't always open everything. I'm just below the blaze now. Okay. Um. I guess I'll ha head back to the hideout. For now. Yeah, let's do that. I'll meet you. Oh, don't touch that. I'll meet you back at the hideout. Uh oh. Oh, the the radio's making noise again. EF Oh my god. Why did you do it? Uh oh. Uh. Holy shit. It's burning down. I think that was the tree talking. Um. Hmm. Oh. oh my god, I'm being attacked by the spirits of the tree.
Oh shit. I hope that doesn't burn down everything. I've already used Chameleon? Oh no, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I just need to keep running. I can't fight these all. Almost, almost, almost. We're almost good. We're almost good. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. all back? It's like it was happening in an alternate reality, but it was very, very real. Still covered in a thick layer of dust. Still smells of warm plastic and burned wires. I did not expect that. Hey, the th three... The three is not here anymore. Why did they disappear? That's disturbing. That means I'm going to be burning ammo now. Okay, now we can read the journal, huh? The tree burns. I set the roots in the cellar on fire. The fire consumed the, to the talking tree in its entirety. Even now, I can still hear it screaming. Seems like the old man was right. The tree is enormous and it will probably continue burning throughout the night. I'll return here tomorrow. Is that really going to be a way out? Now that the tree is burned down? Because it seems like the radio tower is where I'm supposed to go, and in fact the tree pointed to it. I wonder if I make it like an option of which way, which pathway to take. Eh, we'll see. I'm pretty sure it said gained reputation with the three, didn't it? It said something about the three at the beginning of the day like it normally does, but they're just not here. Alright, well I think I'll end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go back to the village and see what's left of the tree. <laughs>